Tonight, a family is outraged after learning that two police officers will not face any charges for the deadly shooting of a Fayetteville woman. Officers saw 22-year-old Jada Johnson 17 times while in her grandfather's house in July of last year. CBS 17's Justin Moore is live in Cumberland County. And Justin, you've been following this case from the very beginning. Well, that's right, and I can tell you that Jada Johnson's grandparents are upset and outraged about this decision uh, made by the North Carolina Department of Justice. Now, their attorney can't understand why the officers uh, aren't charged with Jada's uh, death. These two Fayetteville police officers, Timothy Rugg and Zacharias Borm, will not face any criminal charges for the death of 22-year-old Jada Johnson. The grandparents of Jada Johnson are heartbroken by this decision. North Carolina Department of Justice announcing the decision to her grandparents and their attorney during a private meeting on Wednesday. According to the family's attorney, NCDOJ says the shooting was justified under a state law. We don't believe that the North Carolina Department of Justice was going to give justice to the Iwanskis or justice for Jada. Officers responded to a mental health crisis 911 call at Johnson's grandparents' home last July. They said she had a gun at some point but her grandparents who witnessed it say she wasn't armed when officers shot her 17 times, including in her back. The court declined releasing body cam video to the public. North Carolina Department of Justice has never prosecuted a police officer. And today they continue on with this record of zero prosecution of officer killings in North Carolina. Now, Johnson's uh, grandparents uh, have a pending uh, federal lawsuit against the city of Fayetteville, Fayetteville Police Department, and the officers involved. Uh, now, the grandparents also say they're going to plan to continue to push for justice for Jada. Live in Cumberland County, Justin Moore, CBS 17 News. All right, Justin, thank you.